The Smile That Went Around the World, written by Patrice Karst, illustrated by Jana Kirsty. This is a story about a smile that went around the world. Justin and his mother were on their way to a party. In the back seat, Justin carefully held a big plate of cookies as they passed the bike store and some people waiting for a bus. At the very next corner, Justin saw some people standing in a doorway who looked cold and sad. One of them held a sign that said, Please help, we are hungry. Mommy, I wish we could give the cookies to those people. They are very hungry. His mother thought for a minute, then said, I think there will be enough food at the party. Yes, let's share the cookies. So, so she parked the car, walked over, and handed them the whole plate of cookies. That's when Justin rolled down his window and yelled, You're going to love our cookies. They're rainbow sprinkled, my favorite kind. This made Justin smile and feel good inside. As Justin and his mom drove to the party, he felt so good that, I, that he waved and smiled to all the other people along the road. They all smiled and waved back, except for Rupert Price in his blue car. When he got closer, Rupert Price saw Justin smiling and waving. That made him smile as he drove to the airport to catch his plane to Hong Kong. When Rupert Price got on the plane, he saw a lady having trouble with her back. He smiled, jumped out of his seat, and said, I'll help you with that. Well, thank you ever so much, said Mrs. Green as they smiled at each other. It didn't take long for Justin's smile to spread faster and faster. After it went, went to Rupert Price to Mrs. Green, it went all to the people they met after that. From young to old people, from happy people to lonely people, from rich people to poor people, from farmer market people to little baby stroller people, from tall people to short people, and even in between people. Then something very interesting happened. One day, Justin was at soccer practice and not playing very well. Coach Martinez could see that Justin was unhappy, so he smiled and asked him if he'd like to work on his kicking after practice. Sure, said Justin, and in only a few minutes he was kicking the ball better and feeling excited about the next game. Afterwards, Coach Martinez walked Justin home and asked him what he'd like to do for fun besides soccer. I like to ride bikes with my dad and shoot hoops with my mom. What do you like to do, Coach? I like to run, go to the beach with my family, and fly airplanes. Coach then said, did you know I'm, that I'm an airplane pilot? That sounds really fun, said Justin. It is. I meet people all, from all over the world. Last week I flew to Hong Kong and, and a very nice lady with a beautiful smile told me I was a, it was a great flight. That made me smile and feel good inside. At that moment, Justin had received a, a very special gift, but he didn't even know it. Remember that smile that Justin felt in his heart when he shared the cookies? Well, here's what happened to that smile. Justin gave it to Rupert Price, who gave it to Mrs. Green, who took it all the way to Hong Kong and gave it to... Coach Martinez, who flew it back home and gave it to Justin when he really needed it. You see, the smile that went around the world started in Justin's very own heart. You never really know how far a smile can go. When one comes your way, it may have traveled thousands of miles and cheered millions of people before it ever reached you. But even more amazing than that, just think about how far your next smile might go. We shall never know all the good that a simple smile can do, Mother Teresa.